I'm Michael Evans. And I'm Amelia DeVito. And, and let's, let's give, give it, it a go. go. Hello and welcome to Give It A Go. Each week we feature two brand new and exciting activities which we try out and show off to you guys at home. Ben had a great time last week and did an amazing job when he tried out kickboxing and skateboarding. And guess what, Michael? What? You're up next. Great. What am I going to be doing this episode, Amelia? In today's episode, we'll see Michael attend a pole dancing session to find out more about the activity and how it's becoming more mainstream as a sport as well as a way to exercise. And the fun does not stop there, as we'll also see Michael have a go at dodgeball, but he'll find out more about it as a professional sport and how it can benefit players' mental health. So, what's up first? First up, dodgeball. Wonderful. Well, last week I went along to a dodgeball team's training session to give it a go. So today I'm here at Dodgeball. I'm going to find out a little bit more about the sport and try it out, see what all the fuss is about. Well, before I came here today, I'd done a little bit of research about the health and safety of things. And all I'm going to sustain, hopefully, is just a shoulder or neck strain. I hope that wasn't me. not how I remember it back in school. There's so many new rules and you can tell it's up to a proper standard. And the force behind some of those balls, you would not want to be hit with one of those. Before I go in and give it a go myself, I thought it's best that I give myself a warm up, do some stretches, because I really don't want to pull a muscle. I'm worn out just after my warm-up. Don't know how I'm going to cope out there. So I'm all warmed up and I'm ready to join in. So let's go in and try it out. It looks like you had a great time, but I didn't see an awful lot of throwing from you, though. It's just you getting here. Yeah, it was good fun, and I'm fully aware of that. Thank you, Amelia. So I, I know I felt it. Uh, but so, anyway, it's my pleasure to welcome to the studio Jake and Erin. Welcome, guys. Jake and Erin, thank you so much for joining us today. How are you both? I'm good, thank you. How are I'm you? Great. Yeah, we're doing all right, we're good. aren't we? We're good. We're I'm glad I'm here. here now and not there, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, but obviously, we had fun anyway when I came along to try it out. So how did you guys um, get into dodgeball in the first place? I really enjoyed dodgeball when I was at secondary school. And when I came to university, I wanted to do a sport without and uh, get some exercise without going to the gym. Um, so, and I found dodgeball at the Freshers' Fair and went from there, really. Yeah, the exact same. Started university after enjoying it at secondary school. Felt a bit lost sometimes, starting in my first year. Um, went along to Fresh Fair and found dodgeball. Went along to try it, really enjoyed it, took to the sport, started playing it after that. So how long have you both been playing for now? Four and a half years, oh, I have been for. four years, yeah. And um, is it something that you're going to want to carry on once you sort of graduate uni or...? Um, hopefully, yeah. There's yeah. a Wessex team that are in the regionals that I want to try and play yeah. for. So there are professional teams sort of out there away from schools and colleges? Yeah, there's like professional league teams that go along literally up and down the country, different yeah. sections of the country. London, Manchester, uh, Wessex team over in Southampton. So what would you say, um, you know, when obviously it's now quite professional, but a lot of people still have this misconception around dodgeball, think it's just a game that you play in the playground, but like, what, what is the biggest mis misconception around dodgeball? I'd say people don't realise the amount of tactics and uh, actual plays that have to go into the sport. For, like, for example, when you run for the middle, you don't just sweep up all the balls and try and get them all for your whole team. You have to go to designated left, and then the other team gets two right balls, and then they have to compete for the middle, so that's the only ball you compete for. Um, and again, there's holding times in which you have to release the ball at a certain time, otherwise you get sent off the court entirely. Um, you have to play with tactics as well, so if some people are holding the balls, they'll throw up a number, which is a designated player on the opposite team, and that's who everyone targets at the same time. 
Is there a rule, rule that you can only like hit like a certain part of someone's body, like, or are they out no matter where they get hit? You're out no matter where you get hit. There's, it's an unspoken rule of we don't aim at the face on purpose. Um, but yeah, if you, you could get hit anywhere. Yes, if, even if it hits an hit item, <laughs> even if it hits an item of your clothing, sometimes you can be caught as out. I mean, Michael witnessed that firsthand, didn't he? Yeah. I think I got hit pretty much everywhere. I just didn't, <laughs> didn't move a lot. Didn't move a lot. So um, today is the start of Mental Health Awareness Week. And on that note, how do you guys as a dodgeball team help your players with mental health? How does this help them? Um, dodgeball itself is a really good sport f for, for mental health. Um, because when you're on that court, you're just there in that minute. You, you don't have any worries or about your dissertation, about uni work or anything at your home life. You're focused on that thing and you can just be a player just for a little bit on the court. I suppose um, it's quite community-based as well, isn't it? Like you'll come mm -hmm. like one family, and you're there to help each other as well. Yeah, definitely. And we've got families in Dodgeball as well. So when we go out on societies on the Purple Wednesday, you've, you know, we have a thing called adoption. And so there's been a long bloodline of just families run from start of Dodgeball as well, and you just adopt a player. And that continues down the line as well throughout generations. And um, finally, one quick note, what would you say to somebody that wants to get involved in Dodgeball but hasn't started yet? Uh, give it a go. Yeah, just <laughs> Honestly, go, go for it. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much Great. for joining Thank us. Thank you very much for coming along. Uh, well, I think uh, we ought to see what's happened next. No surprise, dodgeball wasn't really for me, so I've been relegated to ball boy. Let's see if I'm any better at that. Well, that's dodgeball done. It was fun in some parts, but it's definitely a game I'm not too sure it's for me, but I'm glad that I came along and gave it a go anyway. That looked like it hurt, but better you than me though, I can't have this face getting bruised. Yeah, well, I mean, I did have a really good time, but there was definitely some times I made sure I was getting out on purpose, just because it's, it's frightening out there. It is really frightening out there. Well, I think you did a fantastic job as ball boy. Yeah, I'm <laughs> definitely better suited to that role, that's for sure. Now, for those of you sitting in our audience, you may have noticed that we've cleared the space in the second half of our studio. Now, I'm not sure if I'm in the loop with what's going on there, but early this week, I took a trip to a pole dance session. Not to blow my own trumpet, but Katie, the instructor, did say that I was the best newcomer that they'd ever seen. Mmm, doubt it, but we'll see about that. Let's take a look at how it really went, shall we? I feel really happy when I do pole and I always look forward to training and just like feel better. It's really nice to see everyone that comes and just like work on me together. Today I'm here at the Pole Dance Society and I've heard they've got a session going on in there. So let's go in and take a look and see what it's all about. So how old were you when you got into pole dancing and what was it that made you want to do it? 
Um, I was 15 and my sister did it at uni um, and she came home and took me to my first lesson. But yeah, and then I just like fell in love with it basically. How did you feel? How did you feel back then compared to how you feel now? I don't know, I think like you see so much progress. Obviously it's been years, I'm 23 now, so I've been doing it a while. And like, it's just nice to think like how far I've come, I guess. Like from learning like really beginner moves and now like doing more advanced stuff, being able to like link things together and actually like dance and like have music on and just like everything flows. It just feels really nice. So do you think pole dancing helps with confidence in yourself? Have you seen confidence grow in other people as well? Yeah, for sure. I think it really helps confidence. Um, people kind of come in quite shy a lot of the time or are like, oh, I'm not strong enough or I've never done it before. And it's like, it's actually OK. And you see so many different body types and different personalities and just, yeah, like such a range of people doing it that you can't help but become more confident. How do you get people to come along and join? Obviously, it's grown massively as a fitness craze, but how do you get more people to come along and, you know, join and get involved? I think to encourage people I'll just show them videos or just show them me training or like anything because I think when people see it they just think wow it's so different and like it looks really interesting and they just want to come try it out and then they get hooked. Before it was quite sexualised but now it's grown in fitness, everyone's turned to it for exercise routines, has it grown here at the university? Yeah it's definitely become more popular. Um, since like I started so I've been here like four years now and this is probably the busiest year we've had for pole like loads of people training and yeah loads of people wanting to try it out and all my friends want to try it so yeah it's really nice. So we're here. Yeah why not? Yeah. Wish I'd tan my legs now. This is not Right. Am I struggling? Right yeah. Yeah but lift it up. Lift it up? Off the ground? Like that? Like that way? Yeah. Grab the pole That way? Push backwards. Oh, I'm going really slowly. <laughs> okay. Harder. Let me try again. Yeah. Let me try again. Right, it's got very quiet. Pull, uh, and it goes over here. Yeah. Right, yeah. Like that. Okay. <laughs> nice. So you're stood like this. Yeah. I've got no idea what I'm doing now. <laughs> like that, yeah? Yeah. And then it comes in here. Yeah, it comes on like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that seems pretty difficult. I'll, I'll give it a go. I can barely get going stationary, let alone when I'm moving. Right, what one am I starting with now? The front one. So, like that, yeah? Yeah. Right, I know I'm pretty much just going to end up doing this round and round because I'm going to be able to move. So. Right, and push forward this time, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, push forward. Right. And then if you can, bring your leg off, face the pole, put your other leg on. Ooh. Something like that. Do you know what? Yes. I'll take that yeah. and I'm going to trademark that move. And that's going to be mine now. Right. <laughs> Don't think I'm going to be able to do it your way. <laughs>looks like you had a laugh although I'm not too sure where that phrase best newcomer came from I know, I know. in fact Katie actually sent me this earlier hey Michael I think we can all agree you weren't the best pole dancer I've ever seen but you did give it a good shot I've taught you some skills and movements to practice so that maybe next time I see you you'll surprise me with how much you've learned well that was very nice man it was really good to hear from her but I think they just cropped out my best bits. Yeah, likely story. Katie sent over some exercises, and I don't know about you guys, but I think I'd like to see Michael give it a go. <laughs> there are various exercises you can do without a pole at home to maintain fitness, and most of the tricks in pole dancing include grip and wrist um, training. So grip and wrist training is a must for pole dancers. Great. Well, what are you going to have me doing? Well, let's move over to the other side of the studio and then I'll let you know. Okay, well, I am ready when you are. 
Well, okay, first up, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we're warmed up because we've been sitting down for so long. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. So I'm ready. What are we doing? Step to the right. right. Step to the left yeah. and move those arms like this. Okay. All right, what are you doing it for? You're not, you're not doing anything. I'm support, Michael. Right, okay. Right, okay. are you right. ready? We're going to move on to some star jumps. Okay. Ready now? How many are we doing? I don't know. Six. Are you taking count? No. <laughs> Are you counting? No, I've got, I'm too busy okay, focusing. Some, some stretches now, right. so we're going to stretch okay, this, this way. way. Okay. You should be able to feel the stretch. Yeah, oh, I can feel it. Can you? I can feel it here. I can and feel it. And this way. Right. Now, you were really good at those lunges and the other VTs. Yeah, so I, learned I learned at dodgeball. I learned at dodgeball. Yeah. And the other one. And the other, and the other one. one. And some squats. I mean, we can try a squat if you want, but... Right. How many are we doing on that? Five. Two. Right. Three. Three. Four. Oh. Can you feel it? Oh, I feel it. <laughs> right, now, are you ready for this? Right, I'm ready. Right, quick, I'm ready. get on the floor, get right. on your hands and knees. Okay. Quick. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> right, hands Make sure and knees. Make your hands are right under your shoulders. Yep, Lift yep. the heels of your hands up. Up. And down. Like that, yeah? Yeah, do it five right. times. Right. One. Okay. Two. Okay. Three. Come on, I'm, three. It's harder than it looks. Four. <laughs> Five. Okay, right. Well done. Right, now sit down. Right. Face this way, stretch your legs out. Oh, stretching out. Well, moving Careful. Right, but I'm out. open your legs. Open the legs. Yeah, open your legs. I've got skinny jeans on. It's I'm fine. not sure. Open okay, them. are we sure? Are we sure? Yeah, and stretch forward as far as you can. Look up. Right, okay. You. Ready? Oh. Do you feel it? Oh. Is that helping? It, it hurts. A bit more? It, it hurts. Do you want to come down and try it? No. No, I didn't think so. <laughs> right, quick, right. up you get. Right, up we get. Now, this next one is for balance. Okay. But I'm not too sure what it looks like. Does anybody know? I think Sam knows. How does it go, Sam? Right, give it a go. Okay, then go right, let's have a try. Let's have a try. Right, any leg. Any leg. Right, I'll go my left. That all right? Yeah, but you're wobbling a little bit. It's not as easy as it looks <laughs> again, remember? Look. Right. Oh, I'm very wobbly, look. That's fantastic. Right. Right, okay, so next exercise is um, jumping jacks. So they're like star jumps, but you're, you have to like star in the air rather than on the floor. Ready? Do you want to show me? Like this. Like, <laughs> like that? Yeah. Yeah? Five of them. Five? Five, five, five of them. Ready? In a row? Yeah. Right. One, One two, two, three, three, four, four, five. Five. Right, now after right. all that exercising, we have to cool down. Yeah, I think we do. So, we're going to walk on the spot. I, I see you joining in with this bit. <laughs> this is the easy part. Come on, right. join in. Walking and on the stretch spot. stretch those arms like Right, this. okay. Right, I'm just... So, make sure we don't pull any muscles. I think and that's a bit late. One... I think it's a bit late for pulling muscles. Right, I think you did brilliantly. But I don't want to wear you out, so we're going to stop there. Good, good. I think I've had enough anyway. You did right. great. Right, well, now that I've done all of that, I think it might be time to put your non-existent dodgeball knowledge to the test. So I've come up with a game that strips dodgeball right back to the basics. I can't Are wait. you ready to play this game? Let's go. Right. It's dodgeball hand-eye coordination with a bit of Q&A. Love it, let's do it. So I'm going to be asking the questions and Jake here is going to be throwing the balls. Now, I've been hit with balls from their force that they can throw, so you want to be careful, right? I'll be fine. So it's just a bit of Q&A, dodgeball, nothing hard. Do you understand? I'm ready. Right, are we ready? ready. Let's go. So your first question is, let's get the balls going out. Get the balls going out already. So the first question, what is a dodgeball typically made of? Is it plastic, foam or nylon? Uh, foam. That's correct. So number two, is the size of a dodgeball closest to a volleyball, a netball or a football? I don't know how big any of them are. Um, a football. It's a volleyball. Uh, what is the minimum number of balls in a typical dodgeball match? Is it 11, 7 or 9? 7. That's correct. And where did dodgeball originate from? India, Africa or America? Um, India. That incorrect, Africa. Uh, oh, that's what effective. is the maximum amount of time dodgeball can be held? Is it 5 seconds, 6 seconds or 7 seconds? Uh, Five. Cor correct. How much does a dodgeball generally weigh? Is it 410 grams, 460 grams, or 470 grams? Um, uh, 312. Well, that wasn't an option, but that's fine. So, how long does a dodgeball match typically last for? Is it 20, 40, or 50 minutes? Uh, 40. That's correct. And how do you catch someone out in a dodgeball match? Um, catch the ball. 
correct, but you're doing pretty well, I'm I must say. Good. Uh, is dodgeball in the Olympics yet? Yes. Incorrect, it's not. Oh. And 200 years ago, what was thrown instead of softballs? Box. That's correct as well. I just guessed that one. Right, keep going. Five small balls and more questions. I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw some as well. Get, get some more balls. The Dodgers. No, that's <laughs> Sorry? How many people are there as team in Dodgeball? <laughs> Twelve. That's what you get for the exercise. <laughs> <laughs> one, two ways you get people out in a Dodgeball match. What's the one? There well, are two ways you can get someone out in a Dodgeball oh, match. Oh, catching and not getting hit? No, catching and hitting them. Oh. That's all my questions. Yeah, you're doing a great job. You're doing a great oh. job. Stop laughing a little bit. Any more questions? Two more exercises. Any more questions? All right, let's try and get your points up. Try and get your points up. Catch as many my as you can. My bucket's almost full. Well, then you're doing a pretty good job, aren't you? Front and back. <laughs> we'll have your points. Right, shall we see how I got on? Right. How so, many how many questions did, right? did you get right? Six. So, six questions right. We had ten questions, so get rid of your four points. Four points? Well, you, you didn't catch a ball, so you're losing a point. I've got a bucket full of them. Well, I want four points back, and I'm going to take them. OK. I think I still did really well, though. You didn't do too bad. You didn't do too bad. You could have done better. You could have done much better. I mean, you did give me an answer that wasn't on my question sheet. So, apparently, I've just been told that it's now your go, Michael. OK, well, I didn't know that was happening, but <laughs> let's, uh, let's give going. it a go. So, I'm, I don't know any questions about right, dodgeball, but I'm going to ask you some questions about what's happened in the show so far. OK, I'm Are ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'll give you the balls. OK. Am I catching the balls? Yeah, yeah, just catch them. Here. All right, great. Right, I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. OK. How long have Erin and Jake been playing volleyball for? Uh, four and a half years, and they play dodgeball, not volleyball. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> um, when did they, why did they join the dodgeball team? Um, Erin wanted to uh, do exercise without going to the gym, and um, Jake fancied it. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, what did Katie say you were good at with the pole dancing? Everything, because I was perfect at it. That's wrong. I don't <laughs> think it is, but you and, crack on. Um, what was your position relegated to when you wanted to play dodgeball? Ball, 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 ball boy. <laughs> and how many times did you get hit in the face while playing dodgeball? None, actually, thank you very much. Right, I think you did very well. Well done, Michael. <sighs> I've definitely had my fair share of exercise for today. Anyway, now, before I introduce <laughs> next week's focus, I'll admit, I was not familiar with this area. I had no idea how huge it, how huge it was, but eSports has completely taken over. We're talking universities, college, schools, all adding this sport to the curriculum and even a potential Olympic entry very soon. Esports has grown globally. So we sent our roaming explorer, Shannon, out to the University of Portsmouth eSports team to get the lowdown. Hi guys, I'm here at the eSports Varsity event here at Portsmouth Student Union. Portsmouth playing Southampton. Let's go upstairs, chat some people and see what the energy is like. I'm a bit tired, I've been here since 7.30 and uh, I'm going to be here until 11. So I, it's going to be a long day, I was here all of yesterday as well. So I've been in the society for three years, but I've been a committee member um, and a signatory for the last year as secretary, which has involved just running a lot of stuff. It's going to be, it's going to be awesome to see. Um, I'm hoping we get a lot of people turning up um, and it's just going to be awesome to see it actually happen. It's... So guys, I'm here in the main room. I know that they've been set up for quite a while. The next game is kicking off in about seven minutes, but I feel like the tension's pretty high, but the energy's good. There's a rhyme in there as well. <laughs> so, I feel like gaming typically is quite a male-dominated sector. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Are there any issues you face? Do people underestimate you um, as a female gamer? It's, it's pretty cool. You don't usually get a lot of girls, so when people find out that you game properly as a girl, they usually, like, quite impressed, except for online, uh, when people are just hidden behind screens and they just want to talk badly because you're a girl, but yeah, you just have to learn to have like thick skin because, yeah, like you're doing better than them anyway, so. Yeah. And I know you're feeling confident, you've won University Esports four times now, yeah. what are the chances of winning today? Uh, there's no, no doubt. There's no doubt? Say, yeah, we're already won. That's the spirit, that's the spirit. <laughs> yeah, if we don't win, someone's thrown the game. Um, without a doubt. We're here with Auden and Cal.
Callum at eSports Varsity. How are we feeling, guys? Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. good. How's the energy been so far? Nice I know it's an great. all day event. Yeah, Has no, been holding decent. Up. Good won, won the first event 3 0. It's going great. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's been good Got fun. It. I'm liking the setup. I'm looking forward to, to the CSGO match coming up. Um, yeah. Yeah, Looking what, forward to it. After COVID, how does it feel being at an event for maybe the first time for some of you guys? Uh, well, this is my first event anyway. Yeah, really? Uh, this is so much fun. It's been yeah, fun, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was really looking forward to this. So guys, what a day it has been. I've talked to some amazing people from Southampton and Portsmouth. The student union has been packed with energy. I've learned about the game and who knows, I might be able to give it a go myself very, very soon. Well, that looks really interesting and I'm looking forward to looking watching um, next week's show, even though she did get it a lot easier than I did, I must say. I mean, she definitely did. Now, before we talk about next week, what did you enjoy about this week? Sitting down, actually. I enjoyed sitting here and chatting with you and uh, Erin and Jake. That bit over there, not so much, but we did have fun. Anyway. We did have fun. I loved watching you swing round that pole. You were like a doner kebab. I was, wasn't I? I was, it was I? fantastic. But sadly, that is all we have time for today. And I have really enjoyed it today. Can we please give a massive thanks to Jake and Erin for taking the time to take part in today's episode? <laughs> And also a massive thank you to Katie and the rest of the pole dancing squad for getting involved as well. And to the guys at eSports in the union. Let's give them all a round of applause as well. Join us next week where we look at, again at two different activities. And until then, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>